Princess Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead, my friends. How are you? Thank you so much for clicking here. I do appreciate you. If you're someone who is brand, brand spanking new right out the box, welcome, welcome. I hope you'll let me know in the comments that you are new. And if you are someone who always clicks here, my ride or dies, thank you so much for doing that. I am uh, doing a reading here for you. It is about uh, the week ahead. And so when I throw these cards, it will be about the week ahead. It always will be, no matter when you find this, whether it's today or a year from now. And then we're going to pick up one of these cards. It's going to be for the last Last week of February. We'll take a peek there. So we're going to use some oracles. We'll throw some tarot at it. Find out what's going on for you, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Happy birthday. This is probably the last reading I'll do before the end of Aquarius season. Um, and uh, I hope that you had a beautiful birthday season. <clears throat> Thank you for all the wisdom that was gained for all the rest of us through this season of yours. Um, okay, so we do have the first card out. It says, um, it's the koi fish. There is always enough. So for those of you who are feeling maybe a little bit like there hasn't been enough, I'm going to say that maybe it's time to focus on the things that are working for you and maybe not giving so much focus to the things that aren't. Um, we do have the koi fish and uh, it's card number 36, which is a nine. It feels like... Um, it feels like there's a little bit of wisdom that needs to be had here. And I really do feel like you need to be more focused on the things that are abundant because that's what fish and water are. Be more focused on the things that are working for you or the things that are abundant rather than really focusing on the negative things. People arguing with you, people trying to get you to be someone you're not trying to be. It feels like there is always enough, enough love, enough emotion, enough nourishment, uh, enough abundance if you are looking for it. <laughs> Don't find reasons to look for negative things. Find reasons to look for positive things. We do have uh, bring a gentle touch. So uh, card number 18 is also a nine. We have two nines here. I feel like you're at the end of some sort of a cycle here. So it feels like you're at the end of a cycle of feeling like you're not enough or feeling like you don't have enough. You're also at the end of the cycle. It says here, um, uh, bring a gentle touch. So maybe this is, maybe this season, the Aquarius season has been really hard for you. Like I know you're dealing with Pluto energy in your sign as well. And I feel like it's, it's all about transformation and things breaking down so you can build them back up again. And um, so we do have the dear spirit, bring a gentle touch. So I feel like you're at the end of a harsh kind of uh, period in your life is what I want to say because we do have nines and you've gained wisdom from all of these things that have gone on for you in January let's take a look here January and part of February right one more card for Aquarius uh, be at home okay so uh, it says be at home. It's card number uh, 14, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, card number 14. Be at home. So I feel like um, it's, it's telling you to make sure that you are stable, sturdy, and balanced on the home front. And really, your the place of your home must be a Zen Den for you. It has to be a place where you can relax with your thoughts rather than feeling like you have to be on the defense with your thoughts. So be at home. This looks like a little sturdy buddy, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the wombat is, is is sturdy for sure. It's like a little tank, built like a little tank here. So be at home. I feel like you're supposed to spend some time with you. It feels like you're supposed to spend some time with you so you can let this cycle go, so you can let things end, so things can begin again. Because in the beginning of the new cycle here, it is going to be balance. Card number 14 is temperance in the tarot. So it feels like there will be healing. There will be balance. It feels like something is about to come to a space and time where everything is going to work out for you. So if you've been having a hard time through this Aquarius season, I feel like there, there are brighter and better things coming for you. We do have uh, Miracles Are Endless. And uh, it is the cow spirit, card number 15. Again, tells me a little bit of tense energy. It's the devil energy. Um, a little bit of tense energy that possibly you have been kind of looking for the light at the end of the tunnel because of because of uh, the harsh things that have been going on in this particular cycle. We do have the electric eel spirit. Bring your ideas to life. You're the thinker, right? You are the, Aquarius is the is the genius of the Zodiac. You're the thinker. You're the one who's always up in your head. I feel like, um, I feel like it's it's time for you to bring some of the big ideas that have been in your head, time to bring them to life. Card number 15, though, tells me that you've had some hardship over this last little bit here. Let's get some uh, tarot. Let's find out what's going on with tarot for Aquarius. 
Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Aquarius, if you're interested in a private read, if that's what you want to do with your time and your money, there's a sale on right now, 10% off all of my uh, all of my services. If you look below this video and click on more, you will see um, a link to Wizio, and there also is a, a code, a discount code that you'll need to take over there. All right, let's find out what's going on here with the Koi Fish Spirit. There is always enough. Tell me about this. We, it's a big idea. It's an aha moment that there that that maybe you've been looking, um, maybe you've been looking for disagreements or for people who disagree with you. Or and I'm not saying that you're arguing or fighting or being disagreeable. I think that people are giving that to you. And I feel like you need to kind of take your foot off the gas as it pertains to people who don't agree with you, people who. Um, who try and tell you that you shouldn't be who you're going to be. I feel like with the Ace of Swords here, it does tell me that there is some sort of an aha moment or a realization, a moment of clarity that you have, that there's always enough, that there's always enough money, that there's always enough love, that there's always enough emotion, always enough nourishment, and always enough money, abundance in general, I think. I feel like you're coming out of this uh, cycle here, this tough cycle, and it's about to get easier. It's about to get better. Tell me more about um, Aquarius, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me more about Aquarius. The sun, there it is. <laughs> yeah, here comes the sun. Do, 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 right? There it is. So it, it is, you are coming to the end of a pretty tough cycle. And it might be it was mentally tough for you. It might be you had to make decisions about things that you had put on the back burner mentally. And it feels like all of those things came to the forefront here. Possibly some of them are about your home or your home front or how things are progressing in your home. And it does feel like you're at the end of a really tough cycle because we have some big ideas with lots of clarity it feels like there are there are things that you can see now that you didn't see before when you were in the midst of this of this hard cycle tell me more we've got leo energy here as well tell me more about aquarius We do have the King of Pentacles. So if you have been worried about your abundance, about money, if you've gone through a tough stretch of not having enough or, oh gosh, now I got to pay this out. My car died. I got to pay that out. Now I got to get a new hot water tank for the house. Or it feels like there's been like sort of like semi disastrous things that have been coming up for you that you've had to take in care of. And I think it's taken a toll on you mentally, not only physically and emotionally, but I think it's taken a toll on you mentally as well. We've got be at home. And so I feel like uh, the King of Pentacles is all about that, right? The King of Pentacles is the one who wants to settle down. That's the king who is ready to settle down, the one who really um, strives for um, solid foundation, being dependable, um, someone who is uh, willing to support others in their times of need. I feel like it's time for you to focus on your home, focus on the self, focus on your pentacles. I feel like you're coming out of a, a hard time and I don't know why it was hard for you. You might want to let me know in the comments if you want to share, but it feels like you are coming to a place of stability and sturdy, grounded sort of energy. So if you've kind of been a lot up in your head because things have been kind of all over the place, I feel like um, you can rest assured that coming out of out of Aquarius season, going into Pisces season, that things are going to get a little more stable for you. This is Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Bottom of the deck is a tower. So I feel like you are going to have to face a final tower to get out of this energy of this hard time. But this is the light at the end of the tunnel. And no, it's not a train. <laughs> it's the light at the end of the tunnel my friend I do believe that when the tower falls you will be able to you know the clouds part and you will be able to see the sun so I feel like this is is a tower that is going to make you see things clearly it's it's going to be a warm tower is what I want to say that's what I'm getting from the from the sun card that the reason that this particular tower is arriving is so you will grow um, because everything grows under the sun professionally personally spiritually everything grows under the sun and it feels like it is a time for growth you're coming out of this hard situation with a time for growth but now that you don't need this illusion anymore it's being pulled to the ground by the universe right yeah all right let's take a look at one card this is for the week ahead which is the third week of february we are uh, looking with this deck i'll pull one for the last week of february all right let's take a look at it Tell me what's coming up in the last week of February for Aquarius, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Aquarius. All right. 
Well, we do have mending. So there is something that's being fixed here. We do have card number 52, which is a seven. Look, the universe is on your side. For me as a reader, sevens are always about heaven, divine intervention. Um, they're always about uh, the universe looking in on you. I really do feel like luck is on your side if you believe in luck. Um, but we, we do hear, see that things are mending. And that's what I meant by being at the end of the cycle. We go to the nine and the 10 is the end of the cycle. And then things start again at the ace. So I want to say that you're, you're on the right path. You're in a place where things are feeling a little bit better. They're feeling a little warmer. They're feeling like there's a release or a realization. It feels like in the mind that you are having better thoughts, happier thoughts. And I feel like it's because things are coming together. Everything is mending. You might be mending a relationship with a friend or a child as well. We do have two children here. We have chaos and conflict. I do believe it's the end of chaos and conflict. We do have 33, which breaks down to a six, which is reciprocity. So I feel like um, what I want to say is, Aquarius, you know that you are not like any other sign. There are there are far less Aquarius signs uh, amongst us that, that walk around and roam around amongst us than there are any other sign. You are very rare. And um, you, I, I feel like the, the conflict and the chaos that you were experiencing up till now is because um, it's because you you see things that other people don't see. And it's also because I feel like you're, you really fight hard to be who you are. To And maybe a lot of people say to you, that's not the way you should be. But I, I really do feel like you need to be, um, I'm going to say, unapologetically you. Like you need to let the freak flag fly. Who cares who doesn't like it around you? It's going to scare away the people who are not authentic, but it is also going to call in the people who are. So I feel like you've been through some chaos and conflict. And I'm going on about that because I do see here um, a zebra that was trying to be a horse. And somebody here is like, no, I'm taking off the outside now. And I'm going to let everybody see that I'm this beautiful zebra. And zebras, you know, are, are very different from every other animal. They don't look like them. They don't act like them. And I feel like you just need to be you unapologetically you okay i'll stop lecturing you <laughs> i just think that aquarius energy being rare it's rare for a reason and i think that i think that it's a beautiful energy a very smart leadership kind of energy i mean every sign every single sign has a hard side a dark side and a light side and i think that on on your days when you're the lightest and you have or the brightest and you have great clarity that you're such a great teacher tell me about um uh, but first, you need to learn the lessons before you can teach. And I think that's what the Ace of Swords is about. You're about to, to figure out that there is always enough. That even though you may have worried through the whole season, you may have worried through, like, you know, the whole Aquarius season. Maybe things were up in the mind here. I feel like you're going to realize that things are about to get better here. Tell me about uh, the Ace of Swords. We do have the Queen of Swords. So it does feel like there is... Um, that you had to be very honest and particular with some people. Um, let's keep moving here. We've got the Nine of Cups in the reverse. And we have the Hierophant. So it does feel like it's it's there is somebody here that you, maybe a group of people, maybe a few people, but it does feel like you are... Hmm, yeah, it feels like you had to be very honest with somebody here, the Queen of Swords. You had to finally just say to them, look, I'm going to be who I'm going to be. You don't get to tell me who I'm going to be. The Queen of Swords shows up with all the receipts. <laughs> the Queen of Swords shows up with all the receipts and says, look, this is all the things that we've talked about in the past. And now you got to sit down and listen to me. I got something to say. And I feel like when the Queen shows up, there is something to say. And I feel like in the past, again, we have nines showing us that we're at the end of cycles. We have the nine of cups in the reverse, which tells me you haven't been very happy. You've been feeling like, where's my wish fulfillment, Elsie? Everyone, I'm watching everyone else get their wish fulfillment. And I'm I'm not getting mine. Well, I think, first of all, you need to be really honest with yourself. And um, I feel like the wish fulfillment with the nine being in the reverse is telling me that maybe you're kind of stuck at the nine waiting for things to get better. And I think that they will. Now, I just said, right before I threw these cards, I just said you are the teacher. But I think you had to go through some lessons and learn some things first, Aquarius, before you could be the teacher. I feel like you have learned some lessons. And the lesson here is, is that... 
um, things get better. They do. And the thing is, is that we have to go through some of the terrible things in order to learn some lessons in order to get this, this great clarity that we need to bring a gentle touch. And so I feel like you've gone through the fire. I feel like you've been forged through fire. And I feel like you've learned some lessons. And it's, it's now to the end of this cycle here. And things are about to get easier for you. But I really feel with the Queen of Swords here that you felt like you had to defend yourself in some way uh, with work with thoughts, that you had to defend yourself in some way against people who maybe were speaking out with the Ace of Swords against you. But I feel like it, it's been a hard time with the Nine of Cups in the reverse. But I feel like you've learned all the lessons you need to move forward. Tell me what the Ace of Swords is, please. What is this big aha moment? I think the aha moment is, is that you realize that you, you had to go through all of those terrible things back there in order to become this, uh, this spiritual teacher here. We do have the Two of Cups, we do have the Queen of Cups, and we do have the Nine of Wands. It does feel like you are going from f being behind the fear wall or trying to stay out of the way of people who are being very negative with you. And I think you you are going to show them, you're showing me your lovely side, your, your really kind, caring, deep, sort of lovely side. And I feel like it's, it's showing other people love. I feel like what you've realized is you've got to be a little more forthright with your feelings instead of getting up in your head and not saying anything and hoping people know what you're thinking. It's time for you to show them this lovely side here, how much love you can show, the depth of your kindness. And it feels like you spent a lot of time here hiding yourself away from the world, hiding this part of you away from the world, because maybe you see this as weakness. Maybe you see emotions as weakness and you see thoughts as being powerful but there's the, the combination of the queen of wands and the queen of swords is part of what makes the empress it's a balance of thoughts and emotions right so i feel like you what you've learned here the aha moment is that there has to be a beautiful blend of thoughts and emotions it can't all be in swords it can't be and although we all love a really smart person you have to be kind of into your feelings as well tell me about um the sun here with bring a little gentle touch. It almost feels like the Queen of Cups shows up to say, look, you need to soften it out just a little bit. Tell me about uh, the sun and the bring a gentle touch because I think the sun is showing you now that you you have to be um, you have to be in your in your Queen of Cups energy as well as being in your Queen of Swords energy. We do have the Three of Wands. So these are the ships that are coming in here. What comes next for you? I feel like it's in the middle of next week. What comes next for you is the sun. Things are about to get better, warmer, breakthroughs. I feel like you're going through some sort of an upgrade in your your personal software. <laughs> so we have a we do have the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you're taking a different route to something that I feel like you it's almost like you turned around and you're doing something different different here. That's what it feels like. Because we do have the three of, of wands and that is the ships coming in. It's also going out and expanding your life. And, uh, you know, we've got the, is it a hawk or I don't know, not good with my birds. Doesn't look like an eagle, could be a hawk, but it, it looks like um, it's time to fly is what I want to say. It's time for you to expand. It's time to fly. The sun is here. You'll see everything clearly and um, it's time for you to bring a more gentle touch. Now, the seven of pentacles to me is, you know, the seven of pentacles is um, throwing the seeds of intention and then nurturing them. So I feel like in this season, now after this hard season you've been in, it's time to nurture the self. And that's why we have bring a gentle touch. I want you to be kinder to you. I, I want you to stop that reel that you have going in your head about all the things that other people said to you. It feels like you need to you need to be kinder to you, not necessarily everybody else. But as you as you go through this sun energy, I think it gives you the energy to see things in a better light. Um, now the thing is is with the seven of pentacles it's like if the if the farmer just stands there with the seeds in hand and doesn't throw them, nothing is going to happen. You have to have action behind your intention and behind your thoughts. And I feel like when you do that, that things change really quickly for you. This night is looking back at all this stuff here. And I feel like things are changing quickly for you, that things are growing, that you have grown and that you realize, you see clearly now, that all you had to, had to do was fly. You had to get out there and expand your view, expand your life. It's time for you to... Um, for things to get a little easier for you. And I think that it's almost, it's it's going to be like when you wake up in the middle of the week next week, one day you're going to be like, whoa, it feels like some of this heaviness is alleviated a little bit. That's what it's going to feel like next week. Tell me about the King of Pentacles, please. And the Wombat Spirit, be at home. 
I think things are starting to be more balanced on the home front for sure. Um, more solid and sturdy. Maybe your pentacles are, are being a little kinder. Maybe they're, you've got a lot more pentacles than you had before. Um, we've got the Eight of Swords. We've got the Knight of Cups, and we have the Six of Wands. There you go. You got the victory. I like it. So you will have victory in the stability that you've been trying to gain, whether those are in thoughts and money, whatever it is, if it's pentacles, if it's the sun, if it's swords, whatever it is, I feel like you're going to get some, some relief and, and more balance is coming in for you. We do have the Eight of Swords, and that tells me that you're still stuck in the head. I feel like you're, you're in a place of imprisonment in the mind. It's time to get out of there. It's time to, I think that the sun is going to help you with that, but it feels like you need to get out of that energy of feeling like your hands are tied, feeling like no matter what I say, they're going to be hard on me. Well, maybe they are, but maybe you take your foot off the gas and stop talking to them. It's about decisions that need to be made that you're not making right now. We do have Knight of Cups. For some of you, the decision might be about a romantic situation. This, All of this struggle might have come from a relationship that wasn't working out that you couldn't let go of. Why? Because because you're so damn loyal. You are a fixed sign and fixed signs are very loyal. Look, I feel like you're going to get victory over this here. And I feel like there is going to be um, a celebration, a point of celebration. The six of, so or the six of Wands tells me that you're almost across the finish line. It's almost time for you to be able to exhale. Why? Because things are mending themselves. By the end of February, things are going to feel a lot different. It feels like there is some downloads coming in. There's pink, um, there's purple and blue. So um, uh, the blue is the throat chakra. It's like you finally start voicing your opinion. You finally start saying something. The blue, we have pink, which are downloads here. Tell me what's mending. There you are. There you are, my friend. I think that these two queens that are over here is what you needed to learn in order to become the Empress Energy finally. And so it feels like somebody here is really is going through a very big, quick level up. I want to say that Aquarius season has been all about lessons for you and it's been a very painful ride for you, but I feel like it's bringing you all to here. It feels like you needed to learn the balance between being head over heart and being heart over head. You needed to blend those two energies of swords and water in order for things to be a little softer, I think. And the energy, the thing is about the queens is they are powerful on their own, but when they get together, all four, four of them at once, they make the empress. And that's a lot of balance. It's um, honesty. It is um, someone who is going to, who's not going to, um, who's not going to be impulsive with their thoughts or their actions because, you know, the Queen of Cups and the, and the Queen of Pentacles are also within the Empress. So whether you are feminine or masculine, it feels like you needed to go through some some upgrades this in this last season here in your Aquarius season. And I feel like now is the time when you are mending. All of these um, queens are coming together to make the Empress. Now, the Empress is Taurus and Libra, but only because she's a Venusian sign. Those are both Venusian signs and she's all about love. And I say she because it's a woman on the card, but please understand, we're not not reading body parts here we are reading feminine and masculine energies yeah so it does look like there's something exciting coming there is going to be a period of lull after mending and i want to say that maybe you're going to have maybe um four weeks of lull uh so you might have the uh the rest of February and part of March to kind of gain the footing of this Empress energy here. But I do feel that not only have you mended yourself, but I feel like you're about to share that because the Hierophant is here. I feel like you're about to help mend others. It's a very, pardon me, a very exciting new beginning that's coming here. And there it is. Yeah. So it feels like there, something is about to pick up. It's like something, there is about to be some sort of a situation that's going to find you or that you will find that will make you excited. Um, this, uh, this, uh, this page of wands doesn't plan anything. It feels like it's going to be spontaneous. So if you've been trying to be more spontaneous, get out of your head and be more spontaneous with friends. It feels like there's an, an exciting opportunity coming up here, a passionate, exciting opportunity here. And where you may have been closed off before, I feel like you've been mending. And so it's time for you to maybe a friend calls you up and says, hey, you know what? I've never been to Vegas Vegas flights to Vegas are super cheap. Let's go just for a few days. I feel like you need to be a little more spontaneous and get a little more excitement into your life. But I feel like there's going to be a messenger that's coming to help you with that. And so it might be a friend or a family member. Take it as it resonates. I'm going to go for now. Thank you so much for being here. Look at you all full wisdom.
Look at that. There's the uh, there's the the hermit. Yeah, all full of wisdom, following your light. I'm gonna go for now. Thank you so much for being here, Aquarius. I am out, and thanks for joining me for Air Season Day. Love you guys. Bye bye.